I see you've uh, you've told me plenty already. Hey, welcome back to Star Trek Elite Force 2. It seems the Ferengi has left the slip. Has given me the slip. And now this place is full of enemies. Take that, you prick. Oh boy. They're not gonna make this easy, are they? Oh boy. Maybe I should not run out the first thing I get. That's how you die quickly. Good thing I've got a healing station right here. Otherwise, I'd probably be in trouble right now. Alright, I've got grenades. Why not use them? Probably because using them close up is not a good idea. Okay, screw this. Clearly these guys just want to fight with melee weapons. Perfect for the shotgun. At least I think so. I'll use the grenades for people who want to shoot them from a distance. Crap. That was not good. Crud. Pretty difficult to get a good shot on. Ah, to heck with it. Enhanced rifle, go! Oh crap. I forget what button does what. I'm gonna die. That's all there is to it. I'm gonna freaking die. <laughs> I don't know how to dodge. I don't know how to shoot. Is there anything I do know how to do? It's run. And get screwed. Frick. Oh, I see. Seriously? Freaking seriously, man? Of course it has splash damage. Why why would I question that? Open you piece of crap. You're gonna make it extremely hard for me to do this with any sort of subtlety, aren't you? Frick. This is not good. Not a good situation I've got myself into. Ah, uh, crap. How is she still managing to hit me when I'm behind cover? That's just not fair. Maybe if I actually moved around, it would make it me a slightly bit harder to hit. I'll learn eventually. But that eventually is not now. Frick. Not good. Not good in the slightest. Okay. Hopefully I can do a little better about this. A little hard though. Hello. Sorry, m'lady. You've given me no choice. Sorry, buddy. Yeah, die. Go to the enhanced rifle, come on. Take this. Let's see how you deal with the slightly improved version of me. Go figure. Just moving around slightly is all I needed to do. Unfortunately, I'm shooting blind here. I gotta be able to see. Of course, that one's closed. Wait a minute, is there a secret behind here? Of course not. There's only a secret when I'm not looking for something. And that's why I don't look, because when I actually do look, I waste my time. You know damn well that's not true. Ah, uh, you all suck. Seriously. Oh, for the love of crimity. That's just BS right there, man. That's just BS. Come on. Yeah, just freaking die, man. 
I hate how these doors are so quick to close on me. It really sucks. At least now it's not going to be used against me. Okay. Where's that one that's shooting at me with that enhanced weapon over there? Guy needs to be first on my hit list. Huh. The other one died already, huh? Shocking. Legitimately. I guess that's all it's willing to give me, huh? That's fine. That's more than enough. Right, I need to activate that elevator, apparently. But how? Tricorder? Is there anything here I can actually use? Oh. Or I could just look for a ladder, that works too. Sorry, lady. But you left me no choice. I just want the Ferengi. The rest of you are cool. Well, until you start shooting at me, in which case you're definitely not cool. How in the heck are there four secrets? That doesn't seem possible. Unless you can destroy some of these containers. Or they're just behind some box somewhere that I didn't think to look. Now I'm just curious. Just makes me want to destroy everything and see if there's anything behind it. For real. Any structural integrity I should know about? What are you doing, man? Anything destroyable? Seriously, there are four freaking secrets on this level. I, I'd like to know how that is possible, but... I get the feeling it's not gonna tell me. Just start scanning everything, man. Mon Capitan. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. Maybe there's something behind there. Somehow. I just, I don't know. I have no freaking clue. Not gonna go up the ladder, huh? I swear, some 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 of these games have the worst ladder mechanics ever. Oh, uh, okay. Frick. Right. You can actually increase the bounces if you needed to do that. You had a reason to. Well, at least it sort of went in the right direction. Come on, blow up already. I can't get over here. And it did F all. That's lovely. Wait, oh, okay. Huh. There is something there. I just didn't Ooh. know about it. Even though it has a red on it. Apparently that doesn't matter. What the? How did it open? Oh. That's how. Huh, interesting. I love how it has just a black void in the, the the back there. It's weird. So, that's where your secrets are hidden? Behind doors that are seemingly red and unopenable? And then they end up being openable? Now you've piqued my interest, but unfortunately I don't have enough time, so I'm just going to move on. At least I can say I found one of the secrets. And a starship at that. Not too bad. I do say so myself. Unless this opens, which it doesn't. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay, follow Omac. I get the feeling this place is gonna be lit up really soon. Great. Now it's it's human enemies. Right behind me. They're here to arrest everyone. Stop them, and I'll pay you well. He's lying to you. We just want him. The rest of you can go. Federation, where's the prophet? Just shut up, man. Oh, frick. The environment made it a little hard to 
Dodger. Oh crap. He's stuck in the toxic goop, getting ambushed behind corners. I think this is not turning out very well for me. Of course. Of course, for some reason, you, the grate is just uh, invincible. Wow, you are not good at this, are you? And that's me saying this, so that t tells you something. Frick. There's no... Right, there's no sprint button, of course. Dang it. Well, at least there's a healing station, even if there's no secrets around here. That's obviously much more important. Hmm. I can't possibly get up there. I mean, it's not very likely, but it is possible, I guess. Dang. If, okay, if you can get up there, is there any point? Oh. Now the ladder I didn't even notice. Is there anything even up here? Is there any point to this whatsoever? Anything that can be destroyed. Anything. Literally anything. I will take literally anything at this point. Got any kind of secret? Uh, an ammo clip? A health pack? Literally something to justify this existence. I would really love to see it. But clearly that is not the case. This was a wild goose chase. Again. Just with all these false positives around here. It's a shame. What the? What's that sound? I hope that's just the sound of the toxic waste. Because, honestly, that's got me concerned. Huh, energy yeah, terminal. Yeah, Ouch. Yeah. Ouch. Okay. Maybe I should just walk around it, instead of trying to jump it like an idiot. Don't try to be a hero, man. It doesn't work out so well. It never does. Guess I may as well shotgun it. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Anyone kill this Federation scum? I thought this was going to be a tough star base. Yeah, uh, sorry, but your goons just aren't up to snuff. Just die already. Oh, you're running away, huh? You're supposed to be a Klingon? I didn't realize you were Romulan. But apparently you are. Because you fight like one. Crap. That guy was actually pretty smart there. Way too smart. I forgot, I have one of those too. And I don't know how to aim. Clearly. Nice. I didn't miss that time, did I? Frick. Oh boy. Do I? Can I aim for crap? No, I cannot. I made peace with that already. I've been forced to make peace with that anyway. You SOP? Ah, frick. Why did that guy shoot off to the side? Damn it. They're getting clever, aren't they? They know I'll just dodge, so they just fire off to the side. To get me the splash damage. Honestly, that is disturbingly clever. Frick. Open. The hell's the health terminal? It's all the way back here, of course. Well, that wasn't much, but it'll have to do. I'll just have to be able to ration it better. As if. Well, if that guy wants to use a rocket launcher, I guess I have no choice but to return fire with fire. What Going the? down, Mr. Federation. <laughs> I'm following you, man. 
Don't make me rocket launcher you in the face. I freaking will, man. I freaking will. Help! Help! Federation attackers! Slow down, Omag. Stop him! In the name of the Empire! I'm no longer a commander in the Klingon Empire. You still know how to shoot! Save me! I'm your best customer! You got any idea how many of your men you lost trying to stop me? Just hand them over already. Very well. Fine, if you want to die too, that's fine with me. They just don't know when to learn, do they? Defeat Klingon boss. Good thing I've been saving these. Take this, you prick. He's shielded. Crap. I guess he's shielded against normal type attacks. What's wrong with this piece of Maktag? Why don't are you protecting them? that honorless Ferengi Kapekt? That is my business. Business is right. Klingons aren't supposed to fight for Latinum. Die! Can you breathe in a vacuum, Tiger? Shut up. You cannot escape the Utar, Uman. Let's see. Run. I need some health. Here we go. What the hell? What the hell just happened? It's like... What? What even just happened? Seriously, what the hell just happened? What the bloody hell? It's ridiculous, man. Take this. This you prick. Yeah. Douche. Can you breathe in a vacuum? Can you, you breathe without lungs? Come on, come on. Hurry up. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. Ooh. I said hurry up, not go slower. Can come on. In a vacuum? Can you breathe without lungs? Sure, a certain someone already learned the answer to that. I forgot what his name was. Seriously, you cannot escape the What are you doing? What are you doing, man? What the? What even is that? My stand will find its mark. Sure it will. Frick. So that's what's going on here. It's a scan that kills. Are you kidding me? I'm out running it easily. Your scan is pathetic. It's too weak. You will burn like a target of hit. You're gonna regret siding with that Ferengi. Gotcha! Work properly! Klingons don't fight for Latinum. You dare insult my honor? What? You have no honor! You're a lying capect. Ah, you have no honor, old. you spineless Stoppy. Romulan! My stand will Ooh. find you out! You're no Klingon, you're a Romulan. Oh crap. Crud. Can I scan that? What's that do? Frick. Oh, he's on the attack again. 
really couldn't figure out what it, what that was supposed to do. Take this. Take this, you spineless coward. If you're a real Klingon, you fight me on the ground instead of hiding behind your machines. You're nothing, man. You're nothing. Huh. Now he's on the ground. Took it long enough. Oh, crap. Dang it. Will that work now? I'm guessing no. Frick. Dang it. Okay, I gotta use the grenade. Surprised. Well, you've surprised me. Never thought a Klingon would be so honorless. You wanna take this? Well, you wanna get up close and personal, huh? Monroe to Enterprise. Omeg has just left the station. Thank you, Lieutenant. We're moving to intercept his shuttle now. Report back to the Enterprise. Used to activate to exhaust then. Pick me up immediately. Come right now. Huh. I didn't know that was a thing. <laughs> I could have beaten Check him more easily. Gatling gun. Nice. Ha, <laughs> sweet. Now we're talking. Hope you don't mind if I borrow this, you spineless Romulan. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to keep calling him a Romulan. You got a problem with that? He's not a Klingon, that's for damn sure. If he was a Klingon, he wouldn't have to resort to such cowardice. Departing the K-7 Starbase. Set engines to warp. Omeg wiped the data banks. He purged all the information and filled all existing memory with random data. Without his data, we can't prove he knew the Master Control Facility was a weapon of mass destruction. Then it looks like we'll have to release Omag. But he is an accessory to murder. We cannot hold him long under Federation law. Fortunately, there are other laws. Oh? The laws of acquisition. Sir, requesting permission to interrogate Omag. That is not part of your training. I think it will be out of order. Sir, I think I can do it. Very well. You realize, of course, that if you violate any Federation interrogation policies or bargain with OMAG, then there will be strict penalties for your actions. In light of your recent performance, I will allow this to take place. Good luck, Lieutenant. So, don't go across the line. But does he know about the Federation interrogation laws? Because if not, well, we can certainly threaten him with things, right? Listen here, buddy. You better tell me what I want to know, or maybe your skull isn't going to be so intact anymore. Or maybe your jawbone isn't going to be so Deck attached. Eight, brig. Or maybe your jawbone just ain't going to be attached anymore. I mean, I can't be held responsible for what, I ha what happens because of your actions, buddy. You never know what's gonna happen. Go to the brig. Fair enough. Let's just go over there now. I heard one of the plasma conduits needs a retrofit. Yeah, I heard two of them did. Engineering still scrambling after the Idril rampage. But what did you expect? I certainly didn't expect Idril to roam free around our hallways. What are you talking about? The female, Picard, just lets her wander free. At a minimum, she should be confined to quarters, or in the brig, if you ask me. Clea? She didn't have anything to do with that attack. Oh, it's Clea now. That's her name. I'm sure it is. I'm sure you know all about her. Ah, uh, I see. What? You're jealous. This isn't about her being an Idro. Jealous? I think you're just being blinded by her beauty. Calm down. She's definitely cast a spell on you. You're so predictable. What, is she a hex girl now? I think you're Can just... Can I help you? I think you're being a bit too... 
quick to judgment. We need all the allies we can get. You might not want to be so quick. Huh. He actually captured him. Nice pacing back and forth, buddy. You know, the longer you stay Hello, here... Omeg. I demand you release me. Let's make a deal, Omeg. Who's your customer? Sorry. Good customers are as rare as latinum. Treasure them. Rule number 57. What about the rule that says once you have their money, never give it back? What about the rule that says only a fool passes up a business opportunity? What about the rule that says only a fool passes up a business opportunity? True. But your opportunity conflicts with my last contract. Opportunity plus instinct equals profit. Rule 9. Rule 17. A contract is a contract is a contract, but only between Ferengi. Well, obviously I'm not a Ferengi, so I can't use that. Opportunity plus instinct equals profit. Rule 9. Opportunity plus instinct equals profit. Well, my instincts tell me this is a lousy opportunity. I like my current contract. Okay, I guess I have to use this one then. Rule 17. A contract is a contract is a contract, but only between Ferengi. Contracts with other races can be honored when the profits are high enough. So, your client is not a Ferengi. Hmm. <laughs> well, I won't tell you who he is. Rule 121. Everything is for sale, even friendship. Rule 1. Once you have their money, you never give it back. Everything is for sale, even friendship. Rule 121. Everything is for sale, even friendship. If he were merely a friend, I'd rat him out right now. But he's a customer. New customers are like razorback reworms. They can be succulent, but sometimes they bite back. Rule 203. Hmm. So he's a new customer, and one you're afraid can find you. That makes him a powerful and deadly non-Ferengi with a starship. Or several. I never said that! I'm... I'm just not looking to expand into any new markets. I see you've, uh, you've told me plenty already. Knowledge equals profit, rule 74. Knowledge equals profit, rule 74. Quite. So I'll keep my knowledge and my profits. Now stop asking. Rule 52, never ask what you can take. Rule 22, a wise man can hear profit in the wind. Rule 22, a wise man can hear profit in the wind. Well, I'd rather be rich than wise. I won't tell no matter how often you ask me. Rule 52, never ask what you never ask when you can take. Rule 52, never ask when you can take. Don't threaten me. You're risking a court martial. Rule 34, war is good for business. Rule 62, the riskier the road, the greater the profit. Rule 62, the riskier the road, the greater the profit. But what about your career? I'm on the hazard team. You think I'll ever reach retirement? Please. I'm just a kindly merchant who risked his hard-earned latinum to help some scientists. After they brought you priceless artifacts. Of course. You think I'd take a risk that's not a sure thing? And you sold their artifacts on the black market, where they would be lost to history. Exactly! That's what keeps the profits high. And they say you Federation types lack the lobes for business. Oh, I understand business very well. Well, since you understand business... Help me escape, and I'll give you a Class M colony planet. With tropical beaches for your retirement. <laughs> wow, okay, I'll sneak you out of here. Omeg, I'm charging you with attempted bribery. Omeg, I'm charging you with attempted bribery. This is entrapment! No Starfleet officer says he understands business unless he wants a bribe. Who was your customer? He'll send those monsters to kill me. They can destroy cities. Looks like you broke a vital law of acquisition when you sold something that could kill you. I did not! Rule 125, you can't make a deal if you're dead. Wrong! He agreed to never send them against a Ferengi planet. Ha! 
I win. Well, then you have nothing to no. lose by telling me. You just confessed. Omag, we're charging you as an accessory to mass murder. What? You knew you were selling a weapon of mass destruction. Your customer killed Atrexians on Praz Jag Gamma 3. You have their blood on your hands. <laughs> Busted! But I won't tell you who he is unless you drop the charges and release me. Very well. On a planet of my choosing? Of course not. We're not a shuttle service. We'll choose a planet convenient for us. I accept the bargain. He is a captain in the Romulan Imperial Navy. Romulans? What were you thinking? I know. Romulans are usually terribly cheap. Good work goading him into confessing, Lieutenant. I believe that would be Rule 87. Learn the customer's weaknesses so you can better take advantage of him. Indeed. You think you won, Monroe? But you have to release me. And I never told you where to find his secret base. Ha! <laughs> He has a secret base? <laughs> Too late. So, where will you drop me off? Ferenginar? Risa? We Maybe will we'll release just... you on the next planet to be attacked by exomorphs. <laughs> no, you wouldn't! That way you can inspect the results of your profiteering. Those monsters don't value Latinum. I'll be killed. Isn't it the Ferengi dream to die rich? You can't! Goodbye, Omag. His name is Commander Soldok. I'll give you coordinates to his base. Oh, man, this it's is It's located great. on the border of the neutral zone just inside Romulan space. Thank you, Omag. Now, isn't it nice, nice to cooperate? Nice business with you. Oh, he just got I'll pumped. inform Starfleet of our new destination. Lieutenant Commander Tuvok will arrange a security briefing. What about me? You had better hope your information leads to the location of the Master Control Facility before the Exomorphs attack another planet. Okay, this has been way over my time limit here, but I did want to hear all of it, so you're welcome. Corbin, so to Monroe, please join me in the armory. Oh, that sounds like he's got a new weapon. In the meantime, that is it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. Make sure to spread this video around like suckers. And I will see you next time. Now go out there and capitalize on life. Peace out, have a good one, and have a nice and pleasant day. If you enjoyed the content and want to stay up to date, I upload 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every single day. You can also subscribe and hit the bell icon or just check out the end screens right here.